Welcome back in. It's mid-morning on WKYT. And what do dueling pianos and Kentucky basketball have in common? You can enjoy both of them and help support an important organization here in our community. We're joined now by Julie Hatfield and Nikki Stewart with Hospice Care Plus to explain. And it sounds really interesting. Welcome. Glad, yeah. glad Thank to have you here today. Thanks right. for having us. Dueling pianos and Big Blue Madness. How does this come together? What, what's going to happen? It's going to be a blast is what it's going to be. We're fortunate enough to have a committee that has decided to um, plan an event mm -hmm. at Rich, in Richmond at RT's Bar and Grill. Um, we have an organization that's coming out of Illinois, Kentucky, a Dueling Pianos International, and we're going to have them come in. So we'll have um, Big Blue Madness on the uh, big screen. People can come in, watch Big Blue Madness, um, be all excited about it, and then the Dueling Pianos will come in and they will have a show for us. Um, so they'll get to do both. They'll be able to watch the cats, get all excited, and then we'll have our dueling piano show. Well, you know, a lot afterwards. of people would be afraid probably to come out thinking, I'm going to miss some of that. Exactly. That's right. You can see both. Exactly. What else can people expect that evening? We are going to have a couple li or silent auction items. We're going to try to center it all around UK, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be a great time for the people who didn't want to be intense. To this week to get tickets or couldn't get tickets <laughs> yeah. to Big Blue Madness, they can come and have a great time with us and support our great cause. Really and important uh, cause. Let's talk a little bit about that cause. This fundraiser, as we said, for uh, Hospice Care Plus, doing very important work. Tell mm -hmm. us about uh, your mission. Our mission is to provide care for anyone that needs us in hospice. All the proceeds from this uh, benefit will go to hospice to cover that care. Um, we will have um, families that come to us and they'll not have, they sort of fall between the cracks. They won't have the insurance that they need. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons that we fundraise um, and get out there and try to raise those funds for the families that are not able to provide for their care. And really dealing with families at, at a very, very critical, critical time. time. Yes. Yes. So if people want to come out and, and support the cause, have a great evening too. What do they need to do? They can. Do you want to answer that one, Nikki? Um, they can go to our website. It's um, hospicecareplus.org, or um, call us at. You want to give that? Up? <laughs> <laughs> well, or good, 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 good combo. <laughs> Sorry. Just Eight, like those. Nine. You're not dueling pianos. You all We're, are working together. That's yeah, right. We finish other sentences a lot. Eight five nine nine eight six fifteen hundred. Great. That's well, we, the hospice number. And we've got that information up on the screen. October 16th, coming up very soon. It's very soon. All right, very good. $20 at the door if you wait that late, right? That's yeah. right. Thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you.